So I think we met when we were about 15 or something, 15 years old. And we're both pretty much from the same neighborhood as well. Um, like I'm from Lansmere and he's from Amsterdam, the north side of Amsterdam. We're just pretty close to each other. So we already knew each other. And then I had a girlfriend who we grew up with and uh, we started to hang with each other, just chill. And it started off as a joke, like we didn't even thought that we would start, ended up making music together. It was just two friends making music. I can still see the nature of us just collaborating, you know, it was just Piotr and Zan, just two separate projects. And we started throwing everything together, we started getting bookings and stuff. And then we're like, okay, this is fun, let's take it from here. Then we... Uh, we got out of our parents' attic. We rented a Z, a Z container studio, which was just like a small box from like six meters in length and two and a half in, in width. No running water, only electricity, no heat, nothing. So we had small... Um, yeah, just a box, a just box a box actually, and like music twenty four seven. Sound wise, it was really it, was, it wasn't good at all. It was like we had to improvise because we needed a space where we could do like our work for twenty four seven. Yeah, and uh, that worked out. After a while, we got even more bookings, and like we started saving money to uh, move up our whole studio game. Yeah. And then in that studio, we created like our defected EPs yeah. and everything. And when we created a defected EP, we were like, okay. Let's start fresh. Let's start with something new, something different, a whole new name. And that's how another started. We yeah. just saved up like tons of music, maybe 15 tracks, unreleased tracks, saved it up. And we're like, okay, fresh start. Banged out the defected EP. And that's how it came started. Like it started to really go exponential from there. We already had that track laying around for like two years almost. That was like in a short amount of time. We made that, those tracks in a short amount of time. And um, after a while, we signed to uh, Polluted Management, who who are really close to um, Defected as well. And they just sent over the music to uh, to Andy Daniel, I yeah. think. Yeah, and uh, Simon was probably also uh, keen of releasing it. And out of nowhere, we heard like, yeah, it's going to be uh, released on Defected. So from there, it was pretty crazy. Like we got a lot of BBC One attention. And for us, we were like, we had no clue what BBC One no. meant like for music industry <laughs> at all. So Andy told us, like, Andy Mac is going to play your track. And, and we were like, like yes. yes, who is Andy Mac? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it really, it really took us to a lot of cool places, yeah. like gave us our kickoff of our career, yeah. essentially. So from there on, we just kept trying to improve our sound. Yeah. As much. Exactly. And like, it, it, it gives you so much motivation to see like so many people reacting and like getting support from people who we really look up to and like ending up at parties just you know partying as like a visitor and ending up dancing to your own music that's the that's craziest thing we came to a point where you can get really frustrated when things aren't really working out but after a while we found that when things aren't working out like if you didn't make a good beat for two weeks but you we're, we're trying, it's not a bad thing, it's a really good thing that you've been trying that much because every time you try and it's not succeeding, you, you still, yeah, you crush off options that, that aren't good. Mm -hmm. So you're just improving yourself every every bad beat you're making. Plus, plus we, like, in the course of the whole the whole growing part of, of the artist profile, you start to accept that you can't always make a right beat. So as soon as you accept, the, accept that it's not always good, just let it go, just go on, keep your head straight and then you will make a good one yeah. after a while. Like, I think we make uh, nine beats, and one of those, uh, one of those might be good. So it's just trial and error, and just keeping your mind clear about not getting frustrated when it's not. Good. So our label is called No Art. We started it about seven months ago. We had six releases so far. We've only released music of our own till now. Um, we're gonna do a few exciting artists in the next couple of months. Like a lot of artists we've been looking up to all our, like our whole start of our career. So that's really exciting. Um, yeah, next to that, just a lot of cool shows. I think that's that's just the way of moving forward. And what we like, what we like about the whole growing part is like we get to see more of the world as well. We always take the time to like explore the world if we can. Like if there are no gigs after that or like just a calm period then we just stay there for a couple of days just check out all the the, the ins and outs of all, all different cities and countries we go to so. yeah take some photos yeah. and just chill get some good food and everything i think that's the like that's the advantage you have touring the world of course